today I'm going to be smoking this delicious looking and delicious smelling Macanudo Cru Royale. It smells like a musty shoebox filled with chocolate. I don't know, there's not a lot on the pre-light draw. Some people always do a pre-light draw taste, but I don't know, it just changes so much once you actually start puffing on the cigar after it's lit that I don't think it really matters what the pre-light tastes like. Unless you're one of those guys that likes to hold your cigar in your mouth for a long time before you light it. Like if you're driving a tractor or something and you're just one of these guys, just kind of holds it in your mouth. About 10 seconds into the cigar now, and <clears throat> there is a little bit of a pepperiness that's kind of uh, coming through. It's good. It's at a medium body right now, and uh, I expect it to go up a little bit. And yeah, right now that's that's all I'm getting. I'll get back to you once I dig in a little bit further. Hey guys, so I smoked it just about an inch down. And the flavors I'm getting are like kind of an oily leather with a bit of cocoa. And I say cocoa because it's got a kind of a bitterness in there, but it's really good. There's something kind of bold about the flavors. Um, I, I guess they're at a medium body still, but they, they come on strong. Uh, and then they kind of fade down to, you know, a medium body. And I was thinking about like what else what other flavors I'm getting from this and I think it's because when you actually put your tongue here on this part of the cigar where you uh, stick your mouth uh, when you actually like put your tongue on that and taste the flavors from the tobacco you get more and that's especially so with this cigar when you take a draw and it's a little bit wet I know it sounds kinda gross but you're getting more flavors I used to smoke cigars and this would just be completely dry um, just because I didn't want to put my tongue on the cigar, it just seemed, I don't know, kind of weird to me to be tasting the actual tobacco with my tongue like it was a piece of food. But when I started doing that, I really started tasting a lot more flavors. So I would recommend that to anyone. And you don't have to be all slobbery and gross about it. You could just, you know, a little bit like right before you take a draw, you know, you just kind of let the cigar sit a little deeper and uh, let your, let the flavors actually run over your tongue so you're actually getting stuff with your taste bud and then when you take in the draw and you taste the smoke it kind of combines with those flavors and I think you're getting the real full effect of the cigars. Hey guys I'm about to finish up here with this cigar. Um, the flavors are about the same getting that oily leather and the cocoa and it's just a really oily flavor. It's kind of um, if you like Maduro cigars then you'll like this cigar I think. I like Maduro cigars so I liked this one. Um, it picked up to about a full body, well, medium to full body, and the smoke output has been fine, the burn's been fine, so I'm going to give this cigar an A. This has been the Macanudo Crew Royale. Thanks for watching.